All right, I broke my number one rule. This is actually take two. I started recording this. I was 10 seconds in, and I'm like, fuck. I didn't put on my Eagles shit for my Eagles game. So 10-second recording, I stopped it, threw on my Eagles shit, reframed the camera angle so you could see the Nick Foles Super Bowl jersey up behind me. I got B. Dawkins on me, number 20, one of my all-time favorites, Jerome Brown, Seth Joyner, Reggie White, like that. that's my air, Randall Cunningham. Carmichael was the first player I, Carmichael and Jaws were my first two favorite Eagles, that's the first time I fell in love with the Eagles, was watching them when they lost to the Raiders in the Super Bowl, that whole sort of playoff run up to the Super Bowl, that's the background, so you know how far back I go as an Eagles fan, Philadelphia, this number is three and a half, four and a half, five, I've seen it creeping a little bit. I think you can still catch it at a four. I think I placed another bet on it at minus four this morning. Uh, in New England to face the Patriots, it is Tom Brady's little celebration over there. And Patricia's returning to New England as a coach with the Eagles, one of the assistant coaches. Over under set at 44 and a half on this one. New England are three and two straight up versus Philly. The Eagles are 3-2 and two against spread versus the Patriots. The over is hit in four of the last five meetings. Philly have hit the second quarter game total over in 15 of their last 20 games. That was their bread and butter quarter last year. It would seem like they would always set themselves up at the end of the first quarter to be in the red zone and then put points on the board right at the start of the second quarter, which really helped those numbers out. See if they can do that again this year. 10.25 units, 44... 45% ROI, sorry. Philadelphia have hit the second quarter money line in 14 of their last 20 games. 7.9 units, 19% ROI. Philly have hit the first half money line in seven of their last nine games on the road. 5.75 units, 29% ROI. Philly have scored first in 16. Oh, this is the last video of them all. I've just banged them off all right in a row. And I forgot to grab a water and bring it beside me. So I apologize. I'm getting a little dry in the mouth and whatnot. But I'm going to fight through this last one. Hit the first half money line. Seven of their last nine road games. 5.75 units. 29% ROI. Philly have scored first in 16 of the last 21 games. 7.2 units. 20% ROI. The Patriots have hit the third quarter game total over in 12 of their last 17 games. 6.5 units. 34% ROI. New England have scored last in four of their last five home games. For 2.8 units, 46% ROI. New England have hit the third quarter money line in 10 of their last 17 games. 5.35 units, 26% ROI. New England have hit the team total over in 13 of their last 20 games. 4.3 units, 18% ROI. I got a bunch of props I'm looking at in this one. Have not decided which ones I'm going to play for sure. Uh, DeAndre Swift, anytime TD I'm looking at. Jalen Hurts over his rushing yards, I'm looking at. Dallas Goddard, season-long prop, this one I am playing. Over 675 and a half receiving yards. He missed five games and could have come close to this last year. Uh, DeAndre Swift over 10 and a half receiving yards. Devontae Smith over 62 and a half receiving yards. DeAndre Swift, I'll probably play for sure. And then I'll pick one of A.J. Brown, Devontae. A.J.'s are set at 68 and a half. And like I said, Devontae's are set at 62 and a half. Jalen Hurts is rushing yards is 41 and a half, so you know. And I'm also going to be playing Jalen Hurts as an anytime TD. That is one play. DeAndre Swift receiving yards, Jalen Hurts anytime TD. Those are the two I can pretty much for sure say I'll be playing. And Jalen Hurts, I'll be looking at it. Over 284 and a half passing rushing yards combined. Peace. Fly Eagles fly, baby. Glad football's back. Peace.